Lucy, Vicky, and others in the Sims family are eating together at Laura Park's home in Los Angeles. This is excellent. Mrs. Park, could you provide the recipe? I might want to make my own version to serve at the Tuscany Tavern. It's actually a traditional Korean dish. I don't think it would fit in with the other menu items at an Italian restaurant. Well, who says we should only serve Italian food all the time? A little international variety won't hurt. Maybe you can set aside a day once a month for dishes of a specific nationality. This lady at my synagogue serves some amazing food she says was taught to her by her own mother. Traditional Jewish recipes. So you are Jewish? I find it interesting that you and your daughter and grandson were all one religion, that of the Jehovah's Witnesses, but you all became different in your faiths, or lack thereof, in Lucy's case. So, have you ever considered being anything other than Muslim, Asia? No, why would I? My whole family is Muslim and that religion has always served me well. It makes perfect sense to me. We all have to be what feels right for us. Freedom of thought produces diversity that enriches all our lives. No one forced you or Scott to be Muslim and likewise no one forced me to be atheist or forced my father to be Jewish. It's when powerful people in governments try to force everyone to believe the same things that evil results. Like the Taliban in Afghanistan? Or those communist states in the 20th century? I'm pretty sure that a lot of Muslims in places like Saudi Arabia and Afghanistan are atheists in 20th century Russia were just being hypocritical. And hypocrisy is a form of corruption. Excuse me. Hello, Vicky Sims. This is Vicky Jones. I understand that you and your mother Lucy are in Los Angeles now? So you got my message? Yes, we were just eating dinner at Laura Park's house. Please let me speak to Lucy. Sure. One moment. This is Lucy Sims. How can I help you? Has your Vicky ever told you about an actress on my Blazing Beauty TV show that resembles you? Yes. Of course, in a world of over 7 billion people it is inevitable that at least a few other people might look sort of like me, I guess. Well, I have a problem. Jennifer Gaines, that actress, plays Lucy Conrad on my show and she was supposed to have a major role in the next episode. But she was just in an accident and broke both her legs, her left arm and her nose in the crash, so she is laid up in hospital. So production work has been halted until she can recover, but that may take a few months. Oh, no. I remember seeing you at the Tuscany Tavern years ago. When I first met your Vicky, and even then I was struck by how much you looked like Jennifer. So, would you be willing to take her place on my show so we can produce the next episode, at least? Well, considering how beneficial it was for Debbie and Carrie to have appeared on your show several times in the past, I see no problem replacing Miss Gaines for just one episode. When do you want me to start? I will consult with my production crew and then call you back with the details. Awesome. I can't wait to see you on TV, Aunt Lucy. I'm so glad you could join us, Mrs. Sims. Let's get you into makeup and we can proceed with shooting the episode. Wow! It's almost like God himself made her on the spot to replace Jennifer and save our hides. Thanks so much for coming to us. tonight's broadcast. I am Paul Jones. And I am Lucy Conrad. Have a good night. Cut. Well done, both of you. I'm glad it's finally over, I can now leave. Lucy, if you hate being a newscaster so much, why not just quit? I sure won't miss you. For the record, I'm going on a date with a rich guy I met online, so your smart remarks mean nothing to me. Goodbye. You should be thankful that Lucy finally found someone who likes her. One less thing for us to worry about. I suppose. But her having a boyfriend won't automatically help me forget the way she was with me. 
You really shouldn't be thinking of her when you are with me, of course. Let the past stay there. I've never been to this high-class restaurant before, and the food items are so expensive. I'm amazed you would take me here for our first date. As long as you like it and I can afford it, that's fine with me. Welcome to my home. Wow. I'm impressed. So everything you said about yourself online is true. I've never been in such a beautiful home. Then you won't mind spending the night here with me. Sorry, but I have to work tomorrow morning, so I must decline. I said no, I am not ready for that. What? After I spend over $300 for you? You ungrateful bitch. Where is Lucy? She is late. We got a call from her a couple of hours ago. She had to go to the ER after a fight with her new boyfriend. So I will have to take Lucy's place today. Seriously? You don't think she's having a hangover? He beat the crap out of her after she refused to sleep with him. She sent me pics of her black eyes. I want to find out if Lucy is telling the truth, so can you go see her? She might be more willing to talk with you because you don't have the history with her that I do. That's a good idea. I will go now. I suppose you think I deserve this? No, Lucy. No one deserves to be abused by her boyfriend. That guy should go to jail. So you are here to arrest that jerk who beat Lucy Conrad? Yes, but he won't open the door. I'm calling for backup. Maybe I can help. Vicky then goes around to a window of the mansion and smashes her way in. Breaking and entering is a crime, young lady. Assault and battery are also crimes, asshole. I'm taking you in. You bitches are always making us guys miserable. You have the right to remain silent. So shut up. Thanks for offering to take me home, Vicky. I'm just puzzled as to why you would bother to help me after what happened between us in the past. That has nothing to do with you being a domestic violence victim last night. If you say so. And I certainly won't call you a pink-haired freak again. You are much better than I thought. So you don't mind that I went to help bring Lucy's abuser to justice? Not at all. That's what being a superhero is all about. And that is why I love you.